Cheers, Ting. It's been a great year. Ting just got her wisdom teeth pulled out a couple days ago. She's a little swollen and sore. So we're gonna have a bunch of dim sum. She's gonna slurp some porridge and go over all of the best golden pens from 2018. So we started out 2018 in Mexico. We traveled to Mexico City, Oaxaca, and Merida. And out of all those places, we had two tents. One was in Puebla. We had the Pueblan Mole, which was like this rich, chocolatey, spice, packed gravy with the most tender chicken of your dreams. It was so delicious. A little sweet, savory, spicy, and chocolatey in one bite. Mmm. Oh yeah. So after that Puebla Mole, that was a solid tent, we went to this food court in Puebla and there was this lady that chopped up the sandwiches with these huge slices of avocado with ninja precision and speed. And they were just so delicious. These samitas full of Puebla local greens called papalo. Tasted kind of like cilantro and mint mixed together. Gracias, senora. Oh, look at that. That's a monster sandwich. And then we also had a whole barbacoa roast lamb. This was outside of Oaxaca in a little town called Tlacolula. Big roast lamb covered in this red chili sauce, this adobo sauce. It was fantastic. We were hanging with our buddy Javier. He brought us there. It was a ton of fun and it was totally worth going to Mexico for. Look at that big piece of meat. Mm. Oh, dude. Those avocado leaves. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good, isn't it? And then after Mexico, we came back to China where we're at right now in Guangzhou. We filmed an entire steamed pig. It was so delicious, so soft, so succulent and fatty. And for the whole steamed pig, we watched the entire process. They laid the whole pig down and steamed it for a couple hours. And then we watched as the master chef chopped it up and served it to us. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Warm. Oh, there's Thai Hao Chirla. And then after that in Shunda, we went to have the best roast goose in the world. Solid 10, golden 10. We watched Leo Dachu, Master Chef Leo, cook up his delicate, delicious, succulent roast goose in his old traditional style oven. Oh, we're going to have to go right in for that. Mmm. Oh, oh wow. Thai hao chi le. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the sha sha. I just came here. Oh. This is the sha. My this skin is very soft. Oh, soft. Ah, and this yuan jie. Hmm. Ah. Ah, this is the day day eat. Ah, ah. Day day eat. Day day eat. Thai hao chi le. He cooked up the best barbecue pork in the world. It was so sweet with this ultra flavorful honey sauce, plum sauce, and you had it with barbecue pork and goose liver. It was like a barbecue pork goose liver sandwich. Solid 10. And then after Guangzhou and before going to Japan, India, Greece, Morocco, Egypt, we came back to Chengdu and we brought the 1 million subscribers winners, the giveaway we put on when we had 1 million subscribers for a full-on Chengdu street food tour. And we found the most delicious succulent duck right outside of Chengdu. We got to watch as they smoked the ducks in this traditional style oven. It was so mesmerizing and magical to watch. And then when you taste it, it was smoky. It tasted like the most delicious ham, actually. It was so flavorful. And then after that amazing 1 million Rangers giveaway. We went to Japan, had some of the best raw fish and sashimi and noodles of your dreams. We flew in with the goal of eating as much as we could and in two weeks we ate a ton. We had this amazing Wagyu beef. It was expensive but so worth it. It was about $300. We had some delicious ramen that you order from a machine at Ichiran Ramen. It was definitely very touristy but we both found it so delicious for our first time in Japan. And then for a splurge, we went for a once in a lifetime $500 sushi feast. It was a private kitchen. You could only have eight people in there at a time. It was just the best. And the uni, the raw sea urchin, was so delicious. That was my first time trying super high quality premium uni. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. The gonads from the sea urchin. Wow, thank 
you. <laughs> Look at that perfect uni sea urchin. It's just like pure creamy, <laughs> melt in your mouth joy. And it was the best thing ever. If I could eat anything right now, I would probably go back there and have a uni roll. It was just so good. Ting thought it was okay. Too oceany. Too oceany, but I was addicted. And then from Tokyo, we made our way to Kyoto and we had some of the best tempura ever. It was so crispy, but soft on the inside and it was cooked in the oil so perfectly. It was tender and juicy, the shrimp, oh. I would love to fly right back there just to eat that. And thinking about all the food in Japan, that was probably one of the most satisfying meals we had in the whole country. Oh, look at the tempura, they're ready. Wow, that is beautiful. Arigato. Oh, wow, it's big. <laughs> just look at the size of this tempura. Bowl. Mm. Oh. oh wow. That is unlike any scallop or tempura you'll ever eat. And after Japan, we came back to China to Xi'an to create a full-on street food tour for you, a guide for all of the best places to eat in Xi'an. We found so much delicious food. We had the best pork rojamo ever. This amazing local pita bread from Xi'an filled with a stewed, soft pork. Ultra soft, sloppy, full of flavor. And just watching them chop it was one of the most satisfying things ever. Mmm. Oh, that is insane. Oh, it is just the perfect, fatty, rich start to the day. Just being in Xi'an and eating all of the hand-pulled noodles we filmed so many hand-pulled noodles, had so much amazing Xi and Qingzhen halal Muslim street food. It was amazing. And after that, we flew into Hyderabad, India to film Halim and Biryani. And Halim was one of the most unique, crazy, and delicious foods you'll ever try. Filming it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Watch this. Honestly, this is one of the most unique street foods you'll find. Look at it now, it's getting thicker and thicker. Hyderabad specialty. Hyderabad special. Oh, Hyderabad special. Ramzan special. Yeah, yeah. Only for Ramzan. Only for Ramzan. Oh, it's a magical scene. And look, there's just row after row of Halim. You can smell Pudina. Pudina. Pudina, yeah. You can, goat meat. Oh, goat meat and Pudina. Yeah. You can smell the goat, the Pudina, the mint, and the coriander and they're just pounding it. They're gonna be pounding it all day, putting more wheat in so it gets thicker and thicker. Oh, and look at that. Eating that was a dream come true. To eat the halim right from the factory, from the source, full of all of those spices and eating it before they brought it out to the locals was life changing. And after that, we went to go film Hyder Badi Biryani, one of the best, most delicious biryanis we've ever had. And they let us get upstairs to film how they make it. It was incredible to watch the process, the massive rows of pots of biryani, mixing it by hand, and just being up there in the heat really made us appreciate how hard that work is and how much love and passion goes into every pot of biryani. And then after Hyderabad, we flew to Delhi, Jaipur, and Mumbai. And my favorite thing from all those places, there's so much food in each city, so many delicious tens in India that you could travel a lifetime to eat for. But the most fun we had and the best food we had on that trip was in Mumbai. We went to Trishna's restaurant and we had a monster mud crab. It was fantastic. It was covered in garlic and butter. It was so succulent. The meat and the flesh just popped into your mouth like a popsicle. It was so delicious and a solid 10 out of 10. It's just giant. Oh, and the flesh is just bulging out. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. That is insane. After that, we had a black pao bhaji. They put secret black spices in. It was so delicious. 
so amazing to watch how they mix all the spices together, how they chop up every ingredient, put it all onto the grill and add a ton of butter. It was full of butter, so much butter, and it was so delicious. We actually had a, a red pao bhaji afterwards because we loved it so much, we wanted to try the red one. Mmm, it's a little bit less peppery and strong, less masala, but it's so smooth and tomato-y. And after India, we flew to Athens, Greece to go for a full-on street food adventure. We had some crazy, crazy food. We had baby lamb heads on a spit. We had baby lamb intestines, the kokoretti, wrapped around the baby lamb organs on a spit. It was crazy. And we had a delicious 10 out of 10 panirli Greek pizza bowl. It was full of sliced meats. They cracked a raw egg in there. So much cheese, so much butter. It was heavy, delicious, so savory and filling and one of the best things we had in Athens. And we also had a plate of amazing Greek lokomades. Kind of similar to donuts, but Greek style. Covered in so much ice cream. We got one with vanilla, we got one with chocolate, and they led us into the back to watch how they make them. He was using his hands to poke holes into the donuts. It was super cool, and they were really sweet and delicious. Mmm. Mmm. This is one of the best desserts you'll ever eat. So good that we ordered another plate after to try it with the chocolate syrup and ice cream. Extremely sweet and delicious. After Athens, we flew to Marrakesh, Morocco, and we went for a full street food adventure. We found tons of delicious food. We chatted with so many friendly locals. And that was one of the things that we really discovered in Marrakesh. Chatting with a lot of the locals, we found so many friendly people. And one of the best things we had was this huge whole roast lamb they put into these big pits in the ground. Deep pits full of charcoal and they would just put them down into this pit, let them roast for a couple hours, pull them out and then chop them on a big cutting board. You could eat that, they covered it in salt and a little bit of cumin. Perfect, perfect caveman style meat. Look at that, that's one piece. That's one piece of meat and wow. Looks good. Let's try it out. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. That is absolutely perfect meat. And after Marrakesh, we went to Essaouira, a beautiful, beautiful coastal city. So beautiful. And we had one of the best tagine chicken stews full of olives, full of spices and herbs in this farmer's market outside of Essaouira. It was worth the drive. It was so delicious. And we got to watch as they made it as well. It was so good. And we would both love to go back just to eat that. Ooh, the chicken just breaks right off into the bread. That is so beautiful. And you can smell all those spices. And we're just so deep. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Whoa. It is so smooth, the flavor, and you can really just dig in. Then we went to Egypt, and we loved Egypt. So yeah. much good food there. We really loved the koshari. Kind of like an Egyptian pasta, full of lentils, tomato sauce. You can get some versions with meat, and they're all over downtown Cairo. And what really brings back fond memories of eating in Egypt was going to the Prince restaurant and trying this Molokia green thick stew. The prince himself, the owner of the restaurant, cooked it up for us and fed it to me. Oh, oh. oh wow. Oh yeah. That is incredible. It tastes like a dark green vegetable with the fragrance of onion. He was a super nice guy and it was so delicious. And after Egypt, we flew to Dubai to meet with our buddy Payman and he brought us for the most amazing, traditional, super traditional, old Emirati and tire camel. It was crazy. We got to watch as they made it, prepared it, put it in tons of Emirati spice. One of the craziest things we've ever experienced. Unbelievable, breathtaking, whole camel. And then after Dubai, we came back to Guangzhou where we are right now and we went to Hongxing restaurant to film the craziest, biggest seafood. Here we go, guys. We're having seafood of your dreams here. 
solid 10 out of 10, the most delicious seafood you'll ever eat. It was extremely expensive, but we were so lucky because Hongxing Restaurant invited us. They wanted to show to the world what they have there, and it was so crazy. We got into the kitchen, we watched as they made this big lobster, four kilogram lobster in garlic and light chili. It was crazy. It was so delicious. And the Alaskan King Crab was so juicy, so garlicky. Just pulling it out of the legs, putting it in your mouth and feeling that succulent, juicy burst of joy was worth going there alone for. And then after that, we flew back to Chengdu to our home base and put out street food tours for you guys. If you come to Chengdu, you can follow along on our blog, on our website, thefoodranger.com. You can find those places. One of the best things we had there was the Hui Guo Ro Mian, the twice cooked pork noodles. Super delicious, covered in this red chili oil. So much delicious twice cooked pork, cooked in a spicy dou ban jiang fermented broad bean paste. And then after those videos in Chengdu, we came back here to Guangzhou to meet with my family and Ting's family. They met for the first time and we took them for a full on Cantonese street food adventure. We brought them here for some delicious dim sum. We took them to Liu Da Chu in Shunda and had that amazing roast goose. And now here we are at the end of 2018, planning for our 2019. We're going to some amazing places. Next week, we're going to Sri Lanka. After that, we're going to Bangladesh. After Bangladesh, we're coming back to China for Chinese New Year, spending it with Ting's family. And then in March, we're going to Pakistan. And then after Pakistan, we have so many amazing places we're gonna share with you. It really is a dream come true to be able to do this, to share the amazing food and the people of the world with you. And we're so happy to have you watching. Thank you so much, guys. It's been an amazing 2018, and we can't wait to share with you what we find in 2019.